Hey guys, welcome to to blah, blah, I, oh wow. I don't even know what that was. Three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are playing with items from the newly launched Estee Edit. You can find this at Sephora. It is by Estee Lauder, but it is a more hip, actually it's a lot more hip. It's a more youth driven version of Estee Lauder. You're still gonna get really high quality ingredients, high quality product, but they are more geared toward what is current and on trend and they have some really unusual items like a yellow lipstick that is going to transform lipsticks you already own. They have a beautiful eye palette. They have this crazy gloss that is going to help whiten your teeth and a powder that's gonna make you look better in photos and just all of this crazy, really innovative, fun makeup. Of course, I had to go and pick up a bunch of it, put it to the test and bring to you all a hot or not. By the way, I feel like I am wearing the world's biggest eyelashes ever. I am wearing the Lily Lashes in Miami. I've worn these one time before, and then I ordered more because I like them. But I oddly feel like the ones that I ordered online are even bigger. Do they look too big? Is this too much? Am I too much today? Because I kind of feel a little bit over the top. And on one hand, I'm like, I love it. And on the other hand, I'm like, I feel weird. Anyway, let's start the video off there. I tried a ton of the products out over this past week. And then today, of course, I piled on as many as I could prior to filming this video so you guys could kind of get an idea of what everything looks like on my face. We're gonna start with the first item that I applied to my skin today, and that is the Beam Team Hydrate Plus Glow. I was gonna go to a launch party for the Estee Edit, but I just got wrapped up in meetings and was unable to make it over there and was totally bummed. And then I was having one of those days where you sit at home and you watch everybody having the best time of their life on Snapchat and you feel totally left out. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to Sephora. I'm gonna buy the makeup myself. I want to admit one thing that is really random, but I think very, very important. When I first saw this line at Sephora, I was actually with my best friend and I was swatching and playing and for some reason, it did not call to me and I felt like maybe they were a little bit overpriced. But then of course I kept thinking about them and kept hearing about how awesome they are. Doing my little, you know, makeup research at home, I got more excited and I was like, no, I really wanna try these items out. I think they could be great. So my first impression was, and then somehow I got sucked in. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is called Beam Team. This is a hydrate plus glow. You could essentially replace your moisturizer with this because it does have hydrating properties in it if you don't have very, very dry skin. If you have super oily skin, I would not recommend this because it is very reflective and that mixed with oil might make you look like a greasier mess than you would like to. But if you have normal combination, dry, this is going to be a great product for you. I really love the finish of it. It is very similar to the Tom Ford Illuminator base as far as it being kind of golden. And I just think this makes your foundation look really fresh. And I'm surprised by how much I like this. Now in the lid, they do include a cream highlight. This I think is very waxy and I'm not the biggest fan of this. I just, I feel like texture wise on the skin, it sits kind of funny. So if you can get past that and you really enjoy the product itself and you can just focus on this in the tube right here, then it's a great item. This is $50 for 1.7 ounces, so it is up there for sure, um, but it's not you know, Tom Ford or Edward Bess, crazy, crazy price. And you get almost two ounces. All right, moving on. They didn't have at my Sephora the pore filler. I think I'm gonna order that online. It's like a little twist up stick to kind of fill in your pores. And I have that issue right here really intensely and in between my brows. So I would be curious to try that out. From there, we have the bronzer, which actually I am not wearing today. And I am gonna be doing a best drugstore bronzers video tomorrow, like all of my favorites. I went through my whole collection. I went shopping specifically for bronzers a couple weeks ago, you know, to fill any gaps and see if there were new things out there. So I've been all about budget friendly bronzers. This one is very expensive and it's blotchy. At first I liked it. Um, my first reaction was, wow, this is amazing. And then it started breaking up a little bit. For some reason it would not powder over my bake. So I had this like harsh line right here and I just didn't like it. This is called the Barest Bronzer. It's supposed to be very buildable and it is. It's just how it wears 
that I have an issue with. Okay, from there we have the blush, which actually I absolutely adore. I am wearing the blush today and I think it is the prettiest, peachy, beautiful color. It does blend really well. I feel like the powder in both of these are very different. This one just has a silkier application. This is the flash, no, wait, not this one, this one. Uh, this is the Barest Blush in Koi Coral. Now, when you first purchase this, it has a spray over right in this region here that looks kind of like a spill of paint, but the second that you actually swirl your brush in here, that goes away. It doesn't continue through the entire pan, which is a little bit disappointing because I thought that you were gonna get that shimmer mixed in with this through and through, but you don't. So heads up on that. I think this color is gorgeous. I definitely would check out more of the blushes. Very buildable, very long wearing, and I'm totally impressed. The Flash Photo Powder, this is a blue-based powder that is supposed to make you look better in photos. I don't know if that's true. To be honest, I didn't see a big difference. I just didn't. I think it's a really beautiful powder and I think it is great for touch-ups. It doesn't look blue, so don't think that you're gonna powder your face and you're gonna look like you have a blue sheen on you whatsoever. It's just a really nice blotting powder and it is very, very soft. It doesn't kick off a lot of dust. It's just very silky and does mattify without exaggerating dryness. So I do like the powder, but I don't think the whole gimmicky um, look better in photos thing is very real. I just didn't see a big difference. What I did see a big difference with, which kind of wowed me, and I am loving this product. I love this. Super shiny, super reflective, and I feel like it does make your teeth look whiter, which is crazy. This is the Flash Photo Gloss in White Flash. Now this has little blue pigments in here that are undetectable. You're not gonna put this on and look like you have blue gloss on. I'm actually wearing it right now, just in the center of the lips. And it is, here, I'll show you just so you believe me. See, it does not look blue. It just looks clear. And then for some reason, that teeny tiny bit of blue micro shimmer, it's not even micro shimmer. It's like micro micro shimmer. It's very undetectable. That little teeny tiny bit just makes your smile look really bright. And the gloss is a great formula as a kicker. I love this. Definitely something that I will keep with me on the glow on the glow. <laughs> Definitely something that I will keep in my clutch on the go. I think it's a fantastic product. The mascara, I have kind of a little bit of a love-hate thing going on. It is really beautiful. I wore this yesterday. If you're wondering on my lashes um, in the end of yesterday's video, once I did my makeup, I'm wearing this and I'm not wearing false lashes, which clearly I am today. And it gives you a ton of volume, a ton of length. This is especially beautiful on the lower lashes. I am wearing it on the lower lashes today, but it is a pain to take off. I mean, I used cleansing butters oil makeup removers, straight olive oil. It is really, really tough to take off because it's not just the pigment, it has almost a sticky kind of consistency that you can almost like peel off your lashes. It's very strange when you remove it, but if you are someone that loves really big lashes and you don't wanna do falsies, this is a fantastic item. You get two different ends, one for volume, one for length. The guy for length is just itty bitty and perfect for that lower lash line. And that is what I am going to keep using it for because I think it did make my lower lashes look awesome. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake and it is a good mascara, minus the removal part. The lip liner is awesome. This again is one of those things that only detailed, loving, really makeup obsessed people like myself, I think will really enjoy as far as splurging on an item like this. You can outline your lip, you can just cheat it a little teeny tiny bit and it is so lightly pigmented but precise that it's a great way to cheat a fuller looking pout. It's just a twist up applicator, really precise, and I was able to get right under here and kind of exaggerate my lip line without it looking like you could see that happening from a mile away. Do you know what I mean? Okay, moving on from there, the lipsticks are great. Do not twist them off, just kind of pull off the top. Now, I got two nudes big surprise. Um, I got the barest lip color in In the Flesh, which is what I am wearing right now. And then I also got a mattified lipstick in Sunday Vibe. So these are very similar. Just one is matte and one is more creamy and sheer. 
the color is very similar. I think they're beautiful. I think they sit on the lips beautifully. The pigmentation is nice and even. They wear really well. They're not patchy. They're not drying. I just think they're an excellent, excellent lip color. And they have so many different neutral, beautiful shades. And as far as the matte ones go, they have some really beautiful bright shades as well. So these are definitely worth a look. And then they have this crazy one, which this you might look at in the store and be like, what in the hell? Um, this is a yellow lipstick, and it literally is yellow. Now, the way that I would use this is either with my fingertip patting this on top to just brighten a lip color, which really this nude does not need to be brightened, or you can use this on top of a darker lip color or mix the yellow in with a lip color and put it on with a lip brush. This really will transform any shade into a lighter version. And it's a makeup artist trick that has been around for years and years. I actually have an OC lip tar that is yellow like this that I do the same method with and it does work. So this is an awesome item to broaden your lipstick wardrobe. If you only have a few colors on hand, then you can definitely turn those colors into more colors very easily with a product like this. They also have a black one, which I skipped out on because I like the nudes. I, I prefer nude lip colors to dark ones anyway, so I just skipped that. This is one item that I have not tried out yet. I didn't wanna like say, oh yeah, it's great. Like I have never worn this on my eyes. I swatched it in the store and I thought that I would swatch it on camera for you guys just to show you the color, but jury's still out on how this wears. As soon as I know and as soon as I have a chance to try this one, I just didn't feel like doing like a full on smoky eye this week, forgive me. Um, but as soon as I do, I'll let you guys know how this works out. This is a really beautiful deep green. Actually, I think this could be really fun. Really, really pretty. So you get a cream base and then you get a metallic top coat and it's kind of a two in one. It reminds me of something that Tom Ford has, very similar where you just press the cream in and then really amplify things by pressing the pigment on top. Pretty easy two-step process, and I think it's gonna be good. I have high hopes. Then we have the palette, which is the item that I swatched in the store, and I was like, ew, no. And I walked away. I was so bratty about it. I was just like, no, I don't think so. But there was something about this. When I went back to Sephora, I was like, I've gotta try this out. Like, I have to try this out. Don't be so judgy. So this turned out to be absolutely so incredible i am wearing every not every shade but everything that is on my eyes today everything from my brow bone highlight to what's in my crease to the lower lash line everything is from this palette let me know if you would like a tutorial because this is more of a cut crease i don't normally do this kind of a look but this palette did make it very easy to achieve and this gold shade right here you think it would go on kind of yellowy gold but once it's on the lid it's like very soft, almost like neutral champagne. And it is so reflective. It is even prettier in person. It's just a beautiful, beautiful sheer but sparkly gold. I did use some MAC Fix Plus and I applied it on the inner corners and it just kind of brightened everything right up. And I love the texture and quality of these shadows. Definitely an awesome palette. All in all, I am very excited about this launch. I am going to continue using the crap out of these products with exception of the bronzer and the cream and the cap of the Beam Team. But everything else that I tried, I'm like, whoa. I am so happy that I decided to give it a go instead of totally passing on this collection because it is really good. So please let me know that you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up, sharing it, leaving me comments. I'm happy to continue doing Hot or Not as almost a favorites and hate it style and bring you really my loves and hates from a line instead of just one item. Let me know how you feel about that. And I hope you guys are having an excellent day. I know the bronzer ended up being kind of a fail, but fear not, tomorrow I'm talking about awesome affordable bronzers that perform beautifully. So I hope to see you back then. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. And if you follow me on Snapchat, this is how I problem solve the dress situation. I'm not wearing it in public. Sweatpant life. Sweatpant life.